Hello and welcome to Game 8. Summer has come to Alice Fiction, and no summer is complete without a beach event. But today we're going to talk about the summer version of our favorite strong girl, Niyu. This version of her is a higher rarity compared to her normal version, and with this rarity increase also brings some new skills as well. So let's dive in and see what this summer Niyu has in store for us. Summer Niyu's skills are different from her normal variant. Instead of being a wood-type attack like her 1-star version, She's instead a water-type buff character. Her skills are also different and are more focused on buffing up the party's physical attack. Her first skill, Sudden High Pressure, converts the regular panels of one selected ally to a level 1 skill panel. It also increases the chance for the buffed up character's normal panels to appear for 2 turns. This is great as it allows the character to easily level up the crash kill and increase their damage. For her second skill, Freeze the Wave, it allows Niyu to absorb her own panels with a maximum cap of 9, and then boosts her physical attack by a certain amount for 3 turns. It also lengthens the panel breaking phase by 0.4 seconds for 3 turns. Her crash kill, Fire a Wave, inflicts damage to an enemy with low HP, and also boosts the physical attack of herself and another high physical attack ally for 2 turns. Pairing this with her first skill allows her to activate her crash kill more often, which in turn allows her to constantly buff her main physical attack damage dealer. She is also best paired with another water type character because of her grade 5 passive skill, Heart of the Beach Fight. This increases the chance of her normal panels to appear when there are two or more water allies in the same party as her. Since Neo is a water type, she is generally weaker against earth based enemies. It is best when she goes up against fire types as she is able to do more damage against these enemies. She can make quick work of fire enemies if she activates her second skill which boosts her physical attack damage even further. Because of her passive, which needs two or more water type folklore to activate, it might be difficult to build a party around her. This will limit the amount of parties you can put Summer Niyu into. For party composition, she is great at buffing up characters that deal physical attack damage. Characters like Ushi Wakamaru are great to pair up with her as she can boost her attack damage with her crash kill. This allows Ushi Wakamaru to deal big damage to four enemies when she gets buffed up by Summer Niyu's crash kill. Another great Falkler to have in her team is Kajiro. Since Kajiro is a water type character, it activates her passive skill which increases the chance of her normal panels to appear. They can also boost the attack damage of your main physical attack DPS when you activate both of their skills. A good 1 star Falkler to team up with her is Captain Drake. As both of them have passives that work well together, the passive of Niyu increases the odds of her normal panels appearing when there are more water type party members, while Captain Drake's passive increases her crit damage when paired with other water types. Now it's time for World Memories. The World Memory Tactical Confrontation is a great 5 star world memory as it increases the physical attack of the folklore and also increases it even further when a buff type character equips it. This allows Summer Niyu to do even more damage when she buffs herself. For a 4 star world memory choice, you can go with Dragon in the Sea as it also increases the physical attack buff when Summer Niyu activates her second skill. It also adds more crit damage which is always a good stat to have for more damage. Another 4 star world memory that's good for her is 5 minutes before, as it also increases the physical attack damage buff that she can give to herself and the rest of the party. Overall, Summer Niyu is much better compared to her 1 star version. Being able to buff the team's attack damage and also leveling up their panels is a great way to make your panel breaking time a lot more efficient. Pairing her up with another water type allows her panels to appear even more often so you can build up her crash kill even faster which in turn allows her to buff the other party members as well. And that's all we have for today's folklore. If you crave for more Alice fiction, its characters, and its gameplay elements, check out our other videos in the game. And for more in-depth information, feel free to check out the GameMate website linked below. Good luck and we'll see you next time!